हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी वुड लाइक टू गेट द मीनिंग्स टू दिस ऑल एक्सप्रेशन एंड सम डिफिकल्ट वर्ड्स सो दैट एट द टाइम ऑफ रीडिंग द चैप्टर वी कॉन्ट फेस एनी काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड ईच एंड एवरीथिंग वेरी इजीली बेटे हेयर आर सम एक्सप्रेशन एज वी कैन सी हेयर एट द ऑनसेट ऑफ द स्टोरी and these the expressions should be explained by us first so the first is here forensic reconstruction i would like to write its meaning okay chapter number 2 sorry chapter number 3 i am very very sorry expressions and their meanings expressions words and their meanings synonyms the first word is here name of nature of nature of expression public word meaning the first one is be forensic forensic reconstruction i would like to write the words first the second is here studied across the third is here casket grey the fourth is here resurrection the fifth is here funerary treasures Sixth is here circumvented. Seventh is here computed tomography. Tomography. Last eighth is here eerie detail. Eerie detail. Double e r i e. detail okay bete first of all these eight expression meanings are to be written by us here it is the first word is here forensic reconstruction its meaning is an interpretation and interpretation formed by P I E C and P C bits of evidence by a lawful lab known as forensic lab. This is the name of a lab, bete. Forensic is the name of a laboratory, and in this laboratory, in this laboratory, the critical, the critical evidence and proofs are examined there, given there, provided there. So this is the forensic lab reconstructs, checks, uh, checks its out on its part whether the provided information is correct or not. When something is under suspicion. so the same thing is sent to forensic lab and forensic lab checks it out whether the provided information sent information is exactly correct true or not so this the word forensic reconstruction stands for here an interpretation formed by piecing bits of evidence by lawful lab okay 
So this is the lamp finally gives this is the lamp finally gives a green signal that the provided uh, data are totally correct and exact, accurate. Scudded across transparent bit moved. Okay, or floated. F L O A T floated. Okay, fastly. Across the sky, across the sky, but there is no need to write the word across the sky. Scudded across means moved, floated, fastly. Cascade grey stands for here. Grey colored sky caused by heavy dust. Caused by H E A V Y heavy dust. Okay. Hiding the stars in it. The stars in it. Hiding the stars in it. Resurrection stands for a better. Bring life, bring life back to a dead man, dead person or revive. Revival. Revive something. Okay. R E V I V E. R E V I V. I am sorry. R E V I V. Revive something. Okay. Finally, treasure stands for air. Valuable. Things belonging to royal families. Valuable things belonging to royal families. Circumvented stands for air. Duped. Or you may say here. Eluded, eluded, dhokha dena, chakma dena, eluded, circumvented means duped or eluded, kisi vyakti ko chakma de kar ke bhaag jana, kisi vyakti ko chakma de kar, jhansa de kar ke kuch kaam kar lena, uski lehta circumvented, computed tomography, full form of CT scanner machine, CT machine, The full form of CT machine is computed tomography. Eerie detail stands for here. S T U double N is stunning. Unusual information. Information. Stunning unusual information. U S U L unusual information. But apart from these old expressions, we should also we would also like to write some more interesting words, okay, at the time uh, which will be, which will which will meet us at the time of reading the chapter. He, beta, he stands for this person. He was just a teenager. The word teenager stands for here, an adolescent. You are also a teenager, okay. Children who run from the age of 13 till the age of 19. Who remain from the uh, who who remain between 13 and 19? Children who remain between 13 and 19, or you may say children who are in the age groups of 13 to 19 are called teenagers. Are called teenagers. So he was just a teenager when he died. Who was a teenager? This the person whose photo can be seen by you here at this page, and this the photo belongs to. The last successor, the last descendant of a powerful family, Pharaoh, okay, Pharaoh, who died at his early stage of life, at the early stage of his life. So he was just a teenager when he died. When the last successor, when the last uh, heir of uh, the Pharaoh family met his death, died. Met his death or you may say died 
Okay, any one of these two words you can use here in explanation. He was a teenager. He was in his, whether in his early teens or in his late teens, but he was in his late teens, as it is told to us by the author here in the story. Just like I have told you in this story, that he was not in his early teens. He was 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 in his He was in his late teens when he met his death. So, King Tutankhamun, King Tutankhaten was a teenager when he died, when he met his death. The last heir of a powerful family that had ruled. The last heir, the word H-E-I-R, it is pronounced as heir, not heir. The last heir, heir means successor, Uttradhikari. The last heir of a powerful family. Tutankhaten, Tutankhaten, who changed his name after a major god Amun and changed his name from Tutankhaten to Tutankhamun. So that the Tutankhaten, last heir of a powerful family, that the Tutankhaten was the last successor of a powerful family that had ruled Egypt and its, and its empire for centuries. Tutankhaten belonged to such a powerful family that had ruled over Egypt and its adjoining states empires for centuries, for many years. He was laid to rest. After laid, I think it is two years. It, he was laid to rest. Laden with, bitte, covered with. Laden with means covered with. L-A-D-E-N. Laden with means covered with. Covered with. He was laden with gold. His entire body, his entire dead body, had been had been properly covered with pure gold, with the layers of gold. And eventually, the word eventually stands for here in the end, finally. Or Akhirkar. Eventually stands for here in the end. Or you may write the word finally. And finally in the end forgotten. And his dead body had been forgotten by all people, by all person living in ancient Egypt. In his, in the days of his age, this yug mein wo jiya tha, jis stabdi mein usne kaam kiya, to stabdi ki sabhi logo ke dwara, usko makbari mein dafna dene ke baad mein, aur uske mrat shariir ko bhula diya gaya. Aisa hi kiya jata hai. Since the discovery of his tomb, in 1922, the person had died before 3,300 3, 3, years ago. And after 3,300 years ago, the same case took place. The same case was raised. The issue, the issue was raised regarding discovering his tomb. Uske apne makbare ko khos, uske apne makbare ke कि खोज करने के उस मुद्दे को दोबारा उठा दिया गया। Okay, since the discovery of his tomb in 1922, the modern world has speculated. The modern world has speculated. The word speculated means guessed. Speculate. S P E C U L A T. Okay, S P E C U S P E C U L A T. Speculated means guest. Guest. Okay. The modern world has speculated. The people of the modern world have the mo people of the modern world have guessed, have speculated, have made the ideology about uh, what about what happened to him. Taking the matter what had happened to the last successor of the Pharaoh family, people started making different kinds of ideas, different kinds of opinions, and most of the people started started speculating, speculating, guessing 
with murder being the most as impossibility people started thinking that uh, the last pharaoh the last pharaoh ha- would have been murdered would have surely been murdered so in order to find it out whether the last pharaoh ten ka ten met uh, was murdered or he met his na- natural death so they wanted to get the facts and there was no other way of getting the facts except uh, have the scan of his body have the scan or you may say except scan the body by the ct scanner machine okay now leaving his tomb for the first time in almost 80 years in almost 80 years tot has undergone a ct scan since his tomb has been discovered in the year of 1922 and his uh, body was scanned by ct scanner machine in the year of 2005 so almost 80 years had passed soon after uh, Uh, 80 years had passed since his tomb was discovered by uh, British archaeologist. वो कहता है कि now leaving his tomb for the first time in almost 80 years. Okay, it was the uh, it was a long time of 80 years since his discover since his tomb was discovered, and soon after the discovery of his uh, tomb, when his uh, uh, dead body was being carried out for the CT scanner for uh, for scanning. He, for the for he, sorry for the ct scanner machine that has undergone a ct scan that her that has undergone a ct scan that offer new clues about his life and death so king tot king tot has gone has undergone a ct scanner machine and he has been scanned by a ct scanner machine very thoroughly and some interesting and convincing and believable facts have already been provided so Uh, and provides precise precise data for an accurate forensic reconstruction of the boy's fero in order to get some more accurate data from the forensic lab so that it can be believed that the death of the person was really caused by uh, was whether caused by some murder or he met his natural death so the, the in order to find it out all the data all the reports uh, All the data, all the reports, as provided by CT scanner machine, CT scan machine, CT scan machine was sent. All the, sorry, were sent, were sent to the forensic laboratory so that it could also be fully uh, uh, full proved that uh, the data provided by CT scanner machine were really so much in, uh, uh, believable and so much accurate. So, this is the introductory part. Of it. This is an introductory part, and this is the introductory part uh, uh, gives us some hints, gives us some uh, such signals which can help us uh, learn the story very systematically, very easily. इस इस छोटे से इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट में हमें सिर्फ ये जानकारी मिली है कि राजा जो टुटेन खाटेन था ना वह किशोर अवस्था में था वह अपनी उम्र में एक किशोर वर्ग का बालक था जब उसकी मृत्यु हुई थी वह एक ऐसे शक्तिशाली परिवार का अंतिम उत्तराधिकारी था जिस शक्तिशाली परिवार ने मिस्र और उसके पूरे साम्राज्य पर कई शताब्दियों तक शताब्दियों तक कई नहीं शताब्दियों तक शासन किया था उसके मरने के बाद में उसके शरीर को सोने से ढक कर के सोने की बहुत सारी सोने की धातु की बनी हुई बहुत सारी चीजों से उसके शरीर को ढक करके और वहां पर कब्रिस्तान में रख दिया गया था उसके मकबरे में रख दिया गया था वाज लेट और उसके बाद उसको भुला दिया गया था किसी ने ध्यान नहीं दिया लेकिन 3300 वर्षों के बाद में 3300 वर्षों के बाद में फिर दोबारा से उसके अपने उस उसके अपने मरने के उस विषय के बारे में कुछ चर्चा हुई और मिस्र देश के लोगों ने इस प्रकार की कुछ अटकलें लगानी शुरू कर दी आधुनिक सिंथ के रोक डाउन ये कहता कि वर्ष उन्नीस में उसके मकबरे की खोज हुई थी तब से लेकर के और अब तक जो है ना आधुनिक दुनिया के जो लोग हैं उनका अलग अलग अनुमान रहा है उन्होंने बहुत सारे अनुमान लगाए हैं उसके अपने मृत्यु के लेकर के उसके अपने साथ जो घटना घटित हुई उन सभी बातों को लेकर के बहुत सारे लोग मानते हैं कि भाई संभावना ये भी लगाई जाती है कि शायद राजा का कतल हुआ होगा राजा की मृत्यु नेचुरल मृत्यु नहीं होगी बल्कि उसका कतल हुआ होगा अब पहली बार वो अस्सी वर्षो में क्योंकि उन्नीस में उसके मकबरे की खोज हुई थी दो में उसका सीटी स्कैन कराया गया तो लगभग अस्सी वर्षो का समय यहाँ पर यह बात दिखाया जा रहा है लेखक के द्वारा कहता है कि लगभग अस्सी वर्षों में पहली बार अपने मकबरे से बाहर निकल करके राजा टट जो है वो सिटी स्कैनर मशीन के अंदर डाला गया है अर्थात सिटी स्कैनर मशीन में उसने अपने शरीर को अंदर लिटाया है ताकि उसके शरीर की ठीक प्रकार से जांच की जा सके और वह मशीन जो है सिटी स्कैन मशीन जो है वह इस प्रकार के उसके जीवन और मृत्यु के कुछ सबूत पेश करती है क्लूज का मतलब कहता है एविडेंस होता है कुछ ऐसे सबूत पेश करती है 
जो सबूत प्रिसाइज का मतलब होता है एक्यूरेट होता है बेटा बहुत ही जिसको बोलते हैं शार्पली शार्पली एक्यूरेटेड और शार्पली यू में से हेयर ट्रूथफुल जिसको बोला जाता है तो कहता है कि इस प्रकार से जो है वो बहुत ही एक अच्छे से ढंग से जो है ना उन सभी प्राप्त किए गए उस सिटी स्कैन की रिपोर्ट को फोरेंसिक लैब में भेजा जाता है फोरेंसिक मैंने कहा कि कानून प्रयोगशाला होती है जिसमें दोबारा से उन सभी प्रोवाइडेड डेटा को चेक किया जाता है देखने के लिए क्या वास्तव में जो डाटा दिए गए सही दिए गए नहीं और उस बॉयस फेरो का मतलब आप समझ गए होंगे कि उस बाल्य अवस्था में बाल्य अवस्था में अपनी मृत्यु को प्राप्त हुए उस फेरो नाम के उस शख्स की उस शख्स के जीवन और मृत्यु से जुड़े हुए जो तथ्य है वो फोरेंसिक लैब के द्वारा फिर दोबारा से रिकन्स्ट्रक्ट करके उसको तैयार किए जाते हैं उसको भेजे जाते हैं सरकार के पास इजिप्ट की सरकार के पास ताकि वे लोग इस बात को मान सके वे वास्तव में सब चीज ऐसे हुई है ओके okay, बेटे सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर विल बी रेड बाय यस इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर थैंक यू